the top 20 iOS 8.4 jailbreak tweaks for iPad. The first tweak on our list is none other than controllers for all. This is an absolute must have if you're a gamer. It brings MFI support, which stands for made for iPhone support to third party controllers like the DualShock 3, the DualShock 4, and the Wii U Pro controller. An absolute must have for gamers. Trust me on this one. Polis is just as much a staple on the iPhone as it is on the iPad. It allows you to customize your control center and add custom little actions and toggles to it just like that. Now, speaking of toggles, there is an Eclipse toggle and Eclipse 2 is a jailbreak tweak that allows you to activate a dark mode in iOS. Now, not just that though, it goes further than that, it's deeper than that, but the dark mode is really one of the most appealing features because it allows you to do things like this. Yes, if you've ever tried to view your iPad in a pitch black dark room, you know how hard it can be on your eyes. Well, this can solve the problem. It's Eclipse 2. Next up is App Button. This is an app launcher that allows you to just slide on that button, release when you're on the app that you want to launch, just like this. So I can launch iFile, I can launch the settings app just like that. And you can also use a double tap to switch between the last two apps, just like that. Pretty cool. Now folders have come a long way in iOS to begin with, but folder enhancers still can add some additional functionality. You have nested folders, yeah. You can change the look of your folders. As you see there, it's round. And if you go into the preferences for folder enhancer, you can see there are lots of options here. You can change the folder layout, change the way the folders look, all that jazz, lots of things you can do with Folder Enhancer, and again, highly recommend it for those of you on iPads. Next up, we have Barrel. We've covered this before, but it's a staple, folks, and it's a staple for a good reason. Barrel allows you to add all sorts of ridiculous, ridiculously cool animations to your home screen, so when you swipe between pages, you get some really, really crazy animations, and it's just great for showing it off to your friends. One of the best tweaks for doing so. Spring to Mice 3 is a another staple jailbreak tweak. This allows you to do so many different things to modify your springboard, including making your icon small, removing the app labels, etc. etc. Call bar for iOS 7 and 8. You think about call bar, you probably think iPhone, right? Well, it also works on the iPad and it works really good. So that way you can make and take FaceTime audio and FaceTime video calls right there from this interface without interrupting your current workflow. So say you're in an app, you receive a call, no problem. You can still browse in that app and take your call with no issue. It's call bar and it works great for iPad. Mirror Mirror is a jailbreak tweak that we recently covered. It brings true iOS multitasking, side-by-side -side multitasking to the iPad, and it works best actually on an iPad Air 2, which I have right here. Highly recommend it if you're running an iPad Air 2. Great multitasking tweak for jailbroken iPads. Now next up on the list is none other than Kodi. It is a free app, formerly XBMC. It allows you to do all sorts of things on your local network, including streaming live TV off your network. It is really, really cool. Hey there, you like this video? Please leave me a like below. Yeah, right there, leave me a like. Thank you. Now swipe selection allows you to drag your finger on the keyboard to position your cursor in an exact location, and it works even better on the iPad. Have you ever wished you could multitask while watching video on your iPad? Well, of course you can with video pane via an activator gesture. You can pop out that video and drag it around the screen like this. You can interact with the background. You can even go to your home screen if you want to and continue watching your video, run other apps, resize it, etc., etc. This is an absolute must have jailbreak tweak for video watchers. Now, if Mirror Mirror didn't appeal to you, you may want to try out Reach App. This is another true multitasking tweak that places side-by-side -side windows right there on your iPad. This is still in beta though, so just keep that in mind. It doesn't work perfectly, but it's still pretty good. If you want to try it, check in the description for the repo address. Anchor is another tweak that we covered previously, but on the iPad, it makes tons of sense being able to lock your icons down in specific places without them automatically adjusting is just great. I love this tweak. Tage was my 2014 jailbreak tweak of the year and for good reason. It brings the quick switcher to the iPad and it also allows you to quickly dismiss an app just by swiping up with one finger, just like that. BioProtect. Great for the iPad because lots of people use iPads. In your family, you probably share an iPad maybe. I don't know. 
Maybe you have your own. Maybe you're just fortunate like that. But if you don't, you can use BioProtect to lock down folders, lock down apps. You can even lock down the, the settings for BioProtect. Watch this. I'm going to tap on BioProtect. I want to change the settings. That's locked down too. So yeah, BioProtect brings tons of security related features to jailbroken iPads with Touch ID. That's the iPad Air 2. You know when you rotate your iPad, you see this right here, it's a four by five layout, but when you rotate it, it changes the layout. So it changes it into a five by four layout instead. See that five by four instead of four by five, which it is in portrait mode. But this tweak, Better Rotate, allows you to lock down the home screen icon layout. So I'm gonna lock it down by enabling it, and then I'm gonna respring, and now let's try it out. So you see, five by four, rotate. Guess what, still the same, five by four. I don't know about you guys, but the banner notifications on the iPad annoy me because they're so small, but with NC Pad installed, you can have your banner notifications take up the full width of the screen. Seeing that the iPad is a productivity machine for a lot of people, then it makes sense that I would include Safari Downloader Plus on this list. Safari Downloader Plus allows you to download files that you normally wouldn't be able to right on your iPad. And it works together with another jailbreak app called, wait for it, iFile. Yes, this is another must have jailbreak app for the iPad. It allows you not only to interact with those downloaded files, but do all sorts of other things with the file system, browse the native file system, zip, unzip, install, rename, all sorts of things that you would normally be able to do with the OS X Finder. So those are 20 of the best jailbreak tweaks for iPad. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.